What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Chicago at St. Alfred with Chicago Bulls All-Star, Jimmy Butler. Just being honest. Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not. This is probably the, the sneaker that I wear the most. Hopefully, he's gonna buy some sneakers. I like the sound of that. Buy some sneakers. Let's go. So, Jimmy, we had Don C on the show. He wished that you would wear a Don C on court. My boy Jimmy Butler, mm -hmm. he from Chicago. He could rock the Just Dons, you know what I'm saying? Would you ever wear a two on court? Would I? Because it's for him, yeah. But I don't, I don't think that the, the retros nowadays are made for basketball, like the Ultra Fly or mm -hmm. the uh, 31, the sneakers that they make for us to actually wear. Um, of course, I like to support my guy, really good friend of mine. But to wear that on the, on the court right now, I don't know if that's the, the right move. But I do like the sneaker, though. Jimmy, straight up, what are some of your favorites on and off the court? First off, you got to go with the, I would go with the 12 low. You can't go wrong with all the colorways that they make mm -hmm. in, in this shoe. I'm with this one, a 12 mm -hmm. low. If I'm ever wearing a suit, I hate to wear dress shoes. Okay. I hate it. Probably since like my, my rookie year, I've never wore a suit with dress shoes. I always wear a suit with, with ones, majority of them, sometimes mm -hmm. from fives, but this is probably the, the sneaker that I wear the most, the one only because it looks the best mm -hmm. with a suit. To that point, you wore a suit with Jordans to the White House, which is a bold move. I did. I've actually done it twice. Okay. I went to the White House with the team when I wore, I think, the Pantone 11s yeah. with an all-black suit. Mm -hmm. And then the most recent time I went, when it was just me uh, chatting with Obama for a little bit, I wore some black and red ones that okay. kind of look like that. Okay. Um, there's not a lot of debating in my head, but people were telling me, hey, don't wear Jordans to the White House. When you talk to uh, Obama, you know, call him Mr. President uh -huh. and stuff like that. And I was like, I'm just going to be me. I'm not going to change because I'm in the White House. So I wore my sneakers. Um, nobody had anything to say about it. And uh, it, was, it was me. What did Obama say about it? He had to notice. He did notice. Okay. He said he liked the sneakers. But on top of that, I actually gave Obama uh, some of my logo gear and um, my 29s that had released at the time. So he's a, a sports fan, mm -hmm. especially Chicago sports. You can always catch him at some of our games and he wants to hoop. I think he's a lefty, uh, but I heard he's nice. I heard he's not bad. You got to set that up. He's going to have a lot of free time now, you and him in Chicago. Yeah, he don't want parts of it. <laughs> let him do him and I'm going to stay over here and be. We obviously see you're dripped up into Jordan, head to toe. When you're not wearing Jordans, what are you wearing? I got some moccasins I got in-house, true story. Really? Yeah, I House like shoes. moccasins. Yeah, the little brown ones that you like slide your feet in. Okay. Got some of those. But other than that, it's, it's, it's really all Jordan. Like, okay. I rep that brand. I don't wear too many Nikes. That's it. I'm, I'm a Jordan guy, head to toe, unless I got on moccasins. You left Adidas. You left money on the well, table. We don't talk about that. I, I, all I can remember is the right now, and I'm with Jordan. Man, but you so. haven't had any foot issues lately? Uh-uh. Okay. You met Jordan multiple times. What advice has he given you, and what's funny, any funny interactions you've had with him? I know you went to camp and you were doing one-on-one -on -one with him. There has to be a funny Jordan story. I would say, um, you know, the, the whole video with the camper and we're playing the yeah. shooting game. The one video that everybody just decided to catch was the one that he won. Obviously. Um, I'm not going to say how many I won and how many he won. <laughs> I'm just going to say I, I won some games. And I was at an unfair advantage because he's done the camp so many years and all of those kids come back to his camp. So he knows what kids to pick. So he tried to hustle. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, Play this fix. Definitely. But I think I think that was the, the best story. Uh, just interacting with him on the basketball floor. And I mean, like everybody said, he can, he can still play. Yeah, I bet. Any talks of a signature, and, and have you thought about what it may look like if it ever happens? That's way down the road right. for me. I gotta do something in this league in order to. to I mean, get you've one done of those. you've done a lot though. Not enough. I've done a little bit. Done more than me. Uh, <laughs> you're not that athletic. You can tell. <laughs> Just being honest. Jimmy is kind of a sneaker shopping first. You brought some heat. Pantone 12s unreleased. Is that a text message to Michael? Like, I don't know how I got these. I think somebody got them for me. I like these. I like the whole Pantone series look deal thing. I want to try to get them all, so we'll see what we got. You debuted these That's 29s? My I want the one that got my logo on it. This one. 
This is probably my favorite sneaker. One, because it's mine. This was like just an honor whenever it was, hey, you know, you get your sneaker out there. So hopefully we get more of this to come. But this is, without a doubt, one of my prized possessions. Miro 7s, going for a pretty penny right now. Yeah, I just like these because they're got a lot of different colors on there. My favorite color is green, which is on here somewhere. And then, um, I mean, I don't know. Is this rare? I don't know. Yeah, two yeah. grand they're worth. Oh, wow. Put those back in the bag. <laughs> protect them. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really pay attention to how much sneakers cost or mm -hmm. anything like that. I just, I just like sneakers, to tell you the truth. But two grand, whatever that is, like I said, that's the one. This it's the not one. two grand, but to me, it's worth 2,000 grand. So Jimmy, we talked Obama, MJ, your favorites. Now it's the easy part. Get the browser shell, see what you're feeling to buy. Oh wait, no. What are those? Oh, this one. This one? Yeah, this one. I ain't never seen them though. Like, so I, that, I'm totally caught off guard. Have you ever heard or seen these? Yeah, we we'll get those. Thirteen, right? Yeah, thirteen, 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 thirteen. Grab these, just in case I decide to wear a suit. And why not grab some low 12s? I could just, just grab them all and hand them to you, but I don't want to do you like that, so. Appreciate that. I'm cool, I'm cool, yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool with three. I don't want to do too much, you can't, nah, ain't nothing. I'm good with that. Gotcha. All right, you're grabbing the 12 lows, 13, black and black one, total 573.30. Appreciate you, big Thank dog. You. Can never have too many Jordans. So, as you guys can see, Jimmy came through St. Alfred, bought three pairs of Jordans. Good luck the rest of the season, man. Appreciate you, big dog.